everyone welcome to a new video so in this video we are going to discuss about how to solve this longest substring without repeating characters problem so i faced this problem recently in one of my interview and i hope that you saw the linkedin post regarding the same on uh, like few days back i posted it so if you didn't saw that i will share the link in the description section you can watch that uh, what happened and uh, so i will be sharing the complete situation in a separate video uh, so in this video let's start to solve this problem and i will be using a hash map to solve it and that is the most efficient solution so before that like if we read the problem right uh, we basically need to find the longest substring that is without repeating characters so if you see a b c in the first example and then a b c and then b b okay so if you if you try to understand the problem right so a b c is the longest substring and we need to output a integer okay so basically what is the length of the longest substring so that is 3 right so a b c is the longest substring and what is the length of it that is 3 Similarly, if we try to read uh, second example, that is uh, b b b b b, and the longest substring obviously b will be one, and the output is one obviously. Then similarly, for example number three, if we read p w w k e w, again the output will be three because the longest substring is w k e. Okay, so let me just zoom it a little bit to understand the problem better. I hope this is visible correctly now. Okay, so now with this, uh, if I go back to my code editor and I will try to write code over here first, and then we will copy paste that code directly into the lead code. Okay, so let me just create a new class, longest substring, and once I create it, and then let me just quickly create public static void main string. Args. Then let's create another uh, method that is public static, and we need to return the length of it. So that's why I'm keeping integer over here. Then public static int, and I will name it like longest substring. It will accept an string input. Okay, so you can keep it like str for now, and then uh, we will return that. Okay, so before this, if we try to read the problem, right? This was the first example A B C A B C V B. So this is what I have uh, drawn a diagram for it. So we will be using two pointer approach. So first will be pointed to zero index that is left pointer, and another pointer will be used that is right pointer, and this pointer will be incremented. Okay, so this pointer will be incremented using a for loop. So basically, this algorithm is known as a sliding window algorithm. Uh, so basically, we will try to increase the increment right pointer. in each iteration okay so suppose my right pointer is now pointing to at this location okay at first index and my left pointer is pointing at zero index okay that is element a so basically what will happen i will try to accept each character one by one until it does not exist in my hash map okay that is what i need to do until it does not exist in my hash map i will keep on adding the characters one by one that is basically using a for loop okay first approach this is okay then second thing that i need to do is when i encounter a duplicate duplicate basically means that this particular suppose like now what i'll do i'll just again copy this paste it and move it over here okay so now if you read this problem carefully until now i have already added a b and c in my hash map okay because these three elements are unique but once i find a element which is already present in my hash map so i will i can easily find out whether this particular element exists in my hash map or not using contains key method okay so once i find a duplicate then i need to increment my left pointer okay so basically my left pointer now will point to index number 3 okay so that is what i do so once we write the code right you will be able to understand the problem better and then again we will come back over here and i will try to explain it again okay so let's just quickly take the example suppose i am taking this as an input okay let's write it down string input Equal to this, and then we will use a system dot out of print again later on. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to use a map, right? So first of all, I need to declare that one. 
so obviously if i am iterating over characters then my key will be character type and i need to store the index values so i will be using integer for that for value okay so this is the key and this is the value and then i will use name it like care map and i will use uh, hash map for it if you want you can use uh, linked hash map as well if you want to maintain the order or not but currently the problem does not need because we just need to output the length of the longest substring okay so this is the first thing second thing that we need to do is we need to use a variable that will record our maximum length of the substring okay maximum length so we need to store it somewhere so i will declare a variable that is max length okay and i will keep value zero so i'm just declaring it as zero because uh, we will be inputting the latest value in it okay so currently i'm keeping it as zero for now okay another pointer as i discussed in the diagram right so we need to use two pointers okay so first one i am declaring over here that is int left and int left will be on the zero index until we do find until we find a duplicate value okay so again i am keeping it at zero okay now for this to start the problem to start solving the problem we need to iterate over the input right so whatever string we get we need to iterate over it character by character okay to get the longest substring okay so for that i am using a for loop and then i will be using int uh, right pointer you can name it anything okay it will start from zeroth index and then i will be uh, keeping it like right will be less than str dot length okay and then i will be using right plus plus okay so this is what it is and then after this uh, let me just okay so we need to use curly braces uh, so once we have done this now what we need to do we need to check whether the element is already present within the map or not okay so i will be using a if condition for this so just bear with me try to understand this condition this is very very crucial for now so care map okay dot contains key as i already mentioned if that key so because my key is a character type i am storing each character one by one over here so if a key is already present okay so how do we need to find that key i'll be using str dot care at method okay and i will be able to find that care at using right pointer because i'm incrementing it one by one okay so i hope you understand that problem this uh, if condition okay because a right will be incremented until it does not find any duplicate so a b c so once it reaches the index 3 right will find a duplicate okay so at that time this condition will be executed now with this we need to again check because i am using a and and so both of the condition needs to be true so this care map again needs to check whether I will be checking the value okay so this value uh, care map dot get so I need to input my key and once I input that key right so it will give me the value so what index is the value stored at okay suppose like I am using a uh, first my right pointer will be at zeroth index right so it will have the value as index zero okay then again it wins it points to the second element that is index one and element b so it will store value as one similarly for c it will store value as two then again right when it reaches the index value three right so we have iterated over these three elements now okay so basically care map dot get i need to send the key right so str dot care add inside this str dot care add and what will the index index will be the right pointer okay if this is greater than my left pointer okay if it is greater than my left pointer that means we have identified a duplicate okay this this is what it means right because if right is pointing at index 3 and it is finding element a and my left is at index 0 and it is finding an element a so that means we have found a duplicate right that is what we are trying to do so if we find a duplicate we need to increment my left pointer okay and we will increment it by one okay so whatever length whatever index right is pointing at we will increment the left pointer by one from it okay so basically my left pointer now will point at 
इंडेक्स नंबर फोर ओके अगेन वंस वी स्टार्ट आइट्रेटिंग अगेन इट विल फाइंड डुप्लीकेट सो वी विल कम ओवर एयर वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड द कंडीशन कंप्लीटली ओके सो लेफ्ट इक्वल टू कैर मैप डॉट गेट अगेन विल बी यूजिंग द सेम कंडीशन एस टी आर डॉट कैर एट विल सेंड द राइट पॉइंटर एंड विल इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन ओके दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू डू ओके नाउ वंस दिस कंडीशन इज फुलफिल्ड सो अंटिल नाउ वी हैव एट इन पुट वी हैव एट एडेड द एलिमेंट विद इन द मैप सो वी नीड टू एड okay so first thing we will do care map dot put okay so we need to add each element one by one then only we will be able to find the duplicates right so put will be str dot care at okay then right pointer and then whatever right pointer is at the index so we will store that index directly over here okay that is what we need to do so this is the exact condition now once we have entered the element okay and it identifies the duplicate we need to store it somewhere whatever the unique substring that we found okay we need to store the length of it so for that so once we add the elements now we need to find the maximum length right so for that i have already created one variable that is max length over here okay so until now we haven't assigned any value to it so we need to assign it So I will use my variable max length equal to math dot max. It will basically help me to identify it, the maximum value between two variables, okay, or two inputs. So whatever number, like suppose I send ten comma eleven, okay. So it will store the maximum value. So that is eleven over here. So it will store eleven in max length. That is what we are trying to do. So over here, what I need to send first, I need to compare between max length, whatever the value that is already stored in the max length variable. i will compare that with my right minus left plus 1 because now i will explain this what i am trying to do so my right variable okay my right variable is at index 3 okay and my left variable once we find the duplicate right at this particular position when we find the duplicate okay before that we need to store the maximum length right so my left pointer is pointing at index 0 my right pointer is pointing at index 3 so what we are trying to do is we are trying to subtract right minus left so whatever index values they are okay so right is at 3 3 minus 0 that is 3 obviously and then plus 1 because we are trying to find the length okay so length is always index value plus 1 because whenever we use array dot length right so we need to subtract by 1 then only we find the actual index position but when we want to find the length right so we need to increment it by 1 so that is what we are trying to do so right minus left plus 1 okay so i hope you got this logic so now we have completed the solution over here okay so we just need to return max length variable over here because we are trying to find the longest substring length that is what we are trying to do so over here if we try to understand this condition again right care map dot contains key str dot care at right index so this basically will help me to find if a duplicate key is present within the map or not if this is true then i will execute this condition and check whether my right index is greater than left or not if it is greater then i will increment it by 1 okay so basically now i will point at index number 4 okay so my right is pointing at 3 my left will point at 4 again once the for loop iterates right so this right pointer will now point at just give me a second c and x b and then give me a second again so my once right pointer is iterated right it is incremented then i will move through index 4 now my left pointer is also pointing at 4 my right pointer is also pointing at 4 again it identifies a duplicate so now my right pointer will iterate again so this will be incremented okay so again this will move to the next index that is 5 again right will be incremented because it is using a for loop okay so i will move to index 5 again we identify a duplicate element so then again left will be incremented okay so now if it goes to index 6 because of the for loop right will also increment okay we will move to the next index it points to index 6 my left is also pointing at index 6 again right identifies a duplicate so my left will be incremented okay so once we reach the index 7 because we are using a for loop right will be incremented okay so this moves to what this moves to the next index 
now we reach the last index so that is why the for loop condition will bypass and because we are using write less than str dot length so it will stop here okay so this is how the complete code looks like i hope you understand the code now let's try to run this uh, quickly do a dry run over here and then we will try to use lead code to execute the large number of uh, test cases okay so longest substring and i will send my input over here add a equal uh, greater than equal to because care map dot get str dot caret uh, right we need to keep it greater than equal to left because uh, as we saw the condition right sometimes in certain conditions both the pointers are pointing at the same position same index value so if we keep it less than then this condition will not be executed okay so now let's try to remove the debug point and execute this one now it should be three so this code looks fine for now now let's try to copy this entire code and go to lead code paste our code over here okay the exact code is there now let's try to run this so you can see three test cases got passed now let's try to submit this one and see how many test cases are getting passed or not uh, okay so 987 by 97 test cases uh, beats 87.58 percent okay so now you can also try to solve this problem using hash set okay uh, hash set we basically need to remove the duplicates that already are present within the set okay then only we can input the next elements to get the longest substring value okay to identify that because in care map uh, hash map particularly we can easily identify the longest substring because we are directly storing the index value okay within the value and we are storing key as the character that we find in the string so that is why this is much faster to execute as compared to hash set and i hope you got the solution and if you are solving this problem using hash set then definitely share your solution in the comment section i will review it and i will definitely share my comments on it so let's meet the next one bye bye take care and also if you like such videos then please share this one with your linkedin network or anybody who wants to learn programming or they are wanting to learn about uh, coding challenges for sdet roles so these are frequently asked questions that's why i'm creating videos around this one i hope this was useful and let's meet the next one bye bye take care